Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of Linux, but not just any Linux. We're talking about the best distros out there for both gaming and programming. Yeah, you heard that right. We're gonna find out if you really can have the best of both worlds. Whether you're a seasoned developer looking for a robust and customizable environment, or a hardcore gamer who needs maximum performance and compatibility, we've got you covered. We'll be exploring some of the most popular and powerful Linux distros, comparing their strengths and weaknesses, and helping you decide which one is right for your needs. So, if you're ready to ditch proprietary operating systems and embrace the power and flexibility of Linux, grab your favorite beverage, settle in, and let's get started. First up, we have Ubuntu, the undisputed king of beginner-friendly Linux distros. Now you might be thinking, beginner-friendly? What about performance? Don't worry, Ubuntu's got you covered there too. With its long-term support releases, you're getting stability and compatibility for days. Plus, the massive Ubuntu community means you'll never be left scratching your head if you run into any issues. When it comes to gaming, Ubuntu boasts excellent hardware support out of the box. Whether you're rocking an NVIDIA or AMD GPU, chances are Ubuntu will recognize it without a hitch. And with Steam Proton making huge strides in Linux gaming compatibility, you'll be surprised how many of your favorite titles run flawlessly on Ubuntu. On the programming side, Ubuntu offers a comprehensive repository of development tools and libraries, making it a breeze to set up your coding environment. So whether you're a Python guru, a Java ninja, or a C++ wizard, Ubuntu's got your back. From beginner-friendly resources to advanced customization options, Ubuntu provides a solid foundation for both gaming and coding endeavors. Next up we have POP underscore OS, a distro developed by System76 that's specifically tailored for, you guessed it, gaming and creative professionals. POP underscore OS is built upon the solid foundation of Ubuntu, so you inherit all the benefits we just talked about like stability, compatibility, and a vast software library. But POP underscore OS takes it a step further by optimizing the heck out of the system for gaming performance. One of the standout features of POP underscore OS is its out-of-the-box support for NVIDIA graphics drivers. Say goodbye to the days of scouring the internet for proprietary drivers and messing with terminal commands. POP underscore OS does all the heavy lifting for you so you can jump straight into your favorite games without any hassle. And with its clean and intuitive desktop environment, even Linux newcomers will feel right at home. But POP underscore OS isn't just about gaming, it also packs a punch when it comes to programming. With a pre-installed code editor, a comprehensive terminal emulator, and a plethora of development tools available in its repositories, POP underscore OS provides a seamless and productive environment for coders of all levels. Now, let's talk about Manjaro, a distro known for its elegant design, user-friendliness, and rolling release model. Now, for those unfamiliar, a rolling release means you get continuous updates to your system, so you're always rocking the latest and greatest software without needing those pesky full-blown system upgrades. Think of it like having the freshest ingredients for your coding and gaming recipes delivered right to your doorstep. But hold on, a rolling release model also means things can sometimes get a little, shall we say, exciting. While Manjaro's developers do a fantastic job of ensuring stability, the nature of constantly updating software means you might occasionally encounter a bug or two. But, hey, that's part of the adventure, right? And for those who crave the bleeding edge of technology, the potential for the occasional hiccup is well worth the trade-off. On the gaming and programming front, Manjaro offers a similar experience to Ubuntu and Pop OS. You'll find excellent hardware support, a vast software library, and a passionate community ready to help you troubleshoot any issues. Plus, Manjaro's focus on performance optimization ensures you're getting the most out of your hardware, whether you're compiling code or fragging enemies. Now let's move on to Fedora, a distro that's known for being on the cutting edge of Linux development. Fedora is sponsored by Red Hat, a big name in the enterprise Linux world, and it's often seen as a testing ground for new technologies and features that eventually make their way into Red Hat Enterprise Linux. What does that mean for you? It means you get to experience the future of Linux today. Fedora is known for its focus on stability, security, and a clean bloat-free system. 
It's a favorite among developers who appreciate its bleeding-edge packages and the opportunity to work with the latest and greatest open-source software. The installation process is pretty straightforward, and Fedora provides different desktop environments to choose from, so you can customize your experience to your liking. However, Fedora's bleeding-edge nature can sometimes make it a tad less beginner-friendly than some of the other distros on our list. But hey, if you're willing to roll up your sleeves and dive into the world of Linux customization, Fedora can be an incredibly rewarding experience. Just be prepared for the occasional system update that requires a bit of troubleshooting. Finally, we arrive at the realm of the fearless, the patient, and the slightly masochistic Arch Linux. Now, Arch is not for the faint of heart. It's a highly customizable do-it-yourself distro that requires a significant time investment to set up and maintain. Think of it like building your own gaming PC from scratch, but instead of hardware, you're assembling the operating system itself. But for those who dare to take the plunge, Arch Linux offers unparalleled flexibility and control over their system. You get to choose exactly what software you want to install, how you want it configured, and how you want your desktop environment to look and feel. It's the ultimate Linux playground for tinkerers, tweakers, and those who crave complete control over their digital domain. However, that level of customization comes at a price. Be prepared to spend a considerable amount of time reading documentation, troubleshooting issues, and generally getting your hands dirty with the Linux command line. But, hey, if you're the type of person who enjoys the journey as much as the destination, then Arch Linux might just be the perfect distro for you. And there you have it, folks. Those are our top picks for the best Linux distros for gaming and programming. From the beginner-friendly Ubuntu to the bleeding-edge Fedora and the ultimate DIY experience of Arch Linux, there's a flavor of Linux out there for everyone. Remember, the best distro for you ultimately depends on your specific needs, preferences, and tolerance for adventure. So, do your research, experiment with a few different options, and don't be afraid to ask for help from the amazing Linux community. If you have any favorite distros that we missed, be sure to let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future tech adventures. Thanks for watching.